From the Bible to the film Deep Impact to Rembrandt, I've got 10 totally random questions for you from one of my confidence rounds. This is Trivia with Buds. it be and welcome to another episode of the trivia with buds podcast i'm your host ryan buds and thanks for joining us for another confidence round in this week of all confidence rounds i had somebody tell me at one of my live trivia events last night they said hey i've been listening to the podcast do you always do totally random questions and i said no usually we have like a theme or uh, a set topic uh, but this week it's all random stuff. And they said, I know I've been listening and I really like it and I'm going to keep listening. So uh, thank you for that note. And uh, if you're enjoying this week of the themed confidence rounds, let me know. I will uh, try and do more stuff like this. I was trying to think of ways to do more themed weeks like like all 80s week or all movies week and things like that. So uh, that will probably be stuff I do right around the corner. Also have to get to a lot of Patreon patron topics for this month and uh, last month. Still trying to uh, get a couple of those recorded. Here's some things we're going to be doing. Friday Night Lights, the TV show. Name cities by landmarks in the city. Uh, Chicago History, Charmed, the original series. TV show schools like Bayside High. Movies that take place in Chicago. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., March Celebrity Birthdays. Orange is the New Black. The Good Place, Scott Pilgrim, we already did. Got to cross that out. Dylan McKay from 90210, specifically Luke Perry's character. Uh, X-Files and Rice Novels, Ron Swanson. I think we did a Ron Swanson. I know that was for something else I did. Got to do another one. Seven Wonders of the World, Grease 2, WrestleMania, which I did with Jim. I can cross that out. Uh, Scrubs, Little Shop of Horrors, the 1986 movie or musical, Reality TV, and Tron. So a lot of fun topics coming up in the weeks and months to come here on Trivia with Buds. Thank you so much for listening and uh, hit subscribe to get new episodes every single day on your phone. I'm enjoying a nice... Wednesday morning. You're listening to this on a Thursday, but I recorded this yesterday and uh, it has been a beautiful day. Woke up and it's uh, sunny, no clouds in the sky. And uh, we went out back and we ate breakfast on our patio. We had bacon and eggs, had a nice old honest tea, half and half, the only drink I drink pretty much during the day besides water and, uh, and beer at night. And uh, just sat back there, listened to some music, watched the kids dance around, and uh, I think it's going to be a great day. And I hope you have a great day, too, because uh, we all need to have great days, especially with this weather getting so much nicer. If you live in a place where the weather's not so nice all the time, I urge you to move to a place or at least go visit a place for like a long time that has great weather because it really changes how you feel about the start of the day and what you can get done and what you want to accomplish, at least for me. Uh, Since I've lived out here seven years, wow, that's crazy, seven years this fall, um, I could never live anywhere else where the weather wasn't at least this nice or nicer. So uh, that's just me, but uh, that's my two cents. We are going to do 10 totally random questions today from the confidence round. Uh, This is a confidence round I did in November of 2017, so this is an old one, and I think I got these questions from a website called Old Random Trivia Generator, which uh, sometimes I go to, but some of the stuff's not fact-checked, and some of it is, uh, the website hasn't been updated in a long time. So every once in a while, if I need like a totally random question, I'll go to it, but back a couple years ago, I used to go to it a lot more. So I'm going to go to it today with this round and read you 10 random questions. If you've been playing along this week, again, these are confidence rounds, they close out my my regular trivia nights and my live events every week. And um, you write down all your answers. You rank them one through 10. 10 is the highest, one's the lowest. And you can get 55 points if you are playing along at home or at the live event. So see how you do out of 55 points on today's episode. We're going to jump into those 10 questions right about now. Here we go. All right, confidence round number one. Which book in the Bible recounts the story of Noah and the Ark? First question of the day. Number one, which book in the Bible recounts the story of Noah and the Ark? Question number two, who played the role of the president in the film Deep Impact? Remember that movie? Number two, who played the role of the president in the film Deep Impact? Number two. Question number three, the letters in the acronym RSVP stand for words in what language? Number three, the letters in the acronym RSVP stand for words in what language? 
Question number four, during what city, uh, sorry, during what century did Rembrandt live? Number four, during what century did Rembrandt live? Question number five, what game show with an exclamation point in its title debuted in 1964? Number five, what game show with an exclamation point in its title debuted in 1964? Question number six on your list, who created the Percy Jackson book series? Who created the Percy Jackson book series? Question number seven, Nancy Cartwright does the voice of what famous 10-year-old boy? Number seven, Nancy Cartwright does the voice of what famous 10-year-old boy? Question number eight, what detective dies in a story called The Final Problem? Number eight, what detective dies in a story called The Final Problem? Two questions left. Here's number nine. Traditionally, what color tie does Donald Duck usually wear? Number nine. Traditionally, what color tie does Donald Duck wear? Number nine. And your last question, number 10. Super Bowl 45 was between the Pittsburgh Steelers and what other team? Number 10. Super Bowl 45 was between the Pittsburgh Steelers and what other team? All right, we'll be right back with the answers to those 10 totally random questions in just a second. Until then, enjoy this sound effect. Here we go with the answers to those 10 random questions. The confidence round for today. Which book in the Bible recounts the story of Noah and the Ark? That is Genesis. Number one, Genesis, like the Peter Gabriel group. Uh, the answer was Genesis, number one. Number two, who played the role of the president in the film Deep Impact? Morgan Freeman. President, the uh, the true first black president, I guess, if you go with uh, film history, or maybe there was a black president before that in another film that I don't know of, but I remember that was uh, kind of a big deal when that movie came out. Number two, number three, the letters in the acronym RSVP stand for words in what language? French. Uh, I forget what RSVP stands for. I guess I could look it up while I have this computer open in front of me. RSVP, what does it stand for? I'll read it to you. It comes from a French expression, répondez, s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît. You know, I think it means like respond, please, please respond. That's what it means. You get it. And uh, now, you know, French number four, which century did Rembrandt live in the 17th century? I always get thrown off trying to guess 17th and 18th and 19th uh, just because it's always like off. You know what I mean? Number four and number five, what game show with an exclamation point in its title debuted in 1964? Jeopardy was the answer. Jeopardy with an exclamation point. And I'm curious to know if Jeopardy Still has an exclamation point. Now I'm going to Google that. You guys are listening to all kinds of Googling today. Jeopardy. Um, let's see. If you look it up, it does. It has an exclamation point. It still does. Very interesting. Never noticed it. Number six, who created the Percy Jackson book series? Rick Reardon, R-I-O-R-D-A-N. Let's Google him. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just Google everything. Uh, Rick Reardon. Number seven, Nancy Cartwright does the voice of what famous 10-year-old boy? Bart Simpson. I had a book that I got um, as a kid, I would ask for books that I knew I wasn't going to read, but I'm like, if I was an adult, I would probably enjoy this book. So I, I think that book came out, there was a book called like my life as a 10 year old boy by Nancy Cartwright. And it came out, I want to say like 98, 99, 2000. And I asked for it and I was probably like 13, 14. And I could have read that book, but like, I think I read the first page and I'm like, not nah, for me, but I like, uh, Bart Simpson, you know? <laughs> and then I, I don't know what happened to it, but I never actually read it. But as an adult now, I'd love to go back and read it. I should do that. Number eight, what detective dies in the story? The final problem. The answer was Sherlock Holmes. Number eight, Sherlock Holmes. I need to go back and watch. I've only seen the first episode or movie or whatever they call them of the Sherlock British series with Benedict Cumberbund. And, uh, I have not seen the rest, but I really like that first one. Um, so I should go back and watch all those. Uh, if you listen to the show and you love Sherlock, let me know if I definitely need to continue. Number nine, traditionally, what color tie does Donald Duck wear? Red, a red tie, no pants, but he's got that tie. And number 10, Super Bowl 45 was between the Pittsburgh Steelers and what other team? Green Bay Packers. When in doubt, and the Super Bowl's related, you can guess the Patriots or Packers, and uh, you might have a good chance of getting the question right. Hope you got all those questions right, or you learned a little something like I did about Jeopardy and RSVP today. And uh, thank you so much for listening. If there's a topic you want to hear me do on the show, you can join our Patreon subscribers over at patreon.com slash trivia with buds. The most popular tier is the $5 tier. 
And for $5, you get to pick a topic I do every month. And I put your name in a big spreadsheet and we get to those topics and I record them. And sometimes I have you on those episodes if you want to be on the show. Or sometimes you can write questions and I'll read them. Or sometimes I can try and answer questions that you've written for me. Whatever you want to do, this is uh, the best way to make the show customizable for yourself or your friends, your family. Maybe you're like, hey, I want to quiz my friends in Seinfeld questions on your show. You can do that. That'd be kind of fun. I'm always looking for guest hosts, and uh, I think it would be tons of fun to have more listeners involved in the show. So if that's something you want to do, shoot me an email, ryanbuds at gmail.com. Thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for telling a friend about this show, and we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with Buds. Cheers.